This is gonna be fun. Oh god, these look so cheap. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at something that uh, well, I kind of assume existed because of the market, but I didn't actually know existed until I actually saw them. And that is taking a look at some dollar store gaming peripherals. <laughs> oh god, yeah, these are so cheap. And uh, we're going to use them on my laptop here because uh, I don't feel like plugging any of these uh, into my Windows XP tower that's underneath the desk here. Because, um, well, I don't know if these are, you know, I don't want anything to short out. I mean, I know they probably won't. But uh, because the LED might draw a little bit more, you know, you know, I know it's probably a useless fear, but oh well. So yeah, I was at my local Dollar Tree, which used to sell stuff for just a dollar, I mean, hence the name. Um, but with the stuff going on, they've actually raised stuff up to about a buck twenty nine. But anyway, uh, at some point in the last year or so, uh, the Dollar Tree corporate <laughs> um, had bought, I don't know if it was like pallets or warehouses or whatever it was, of just cheap like just overstock whatever it was tech and just started marketing it in their aisles as dollar store plus and it was like three to five i think i even seen some stuff that was like 10 bucks which in a dollar tree is weird so uh i bought all um and by all i mean four of the gamer rgb peripherals that they that they had on their shelves um sadly no mice but um just take a look at what we got so first off is the Game Pro LED keyboard, only oops, only five dollars. Fully compatible with XP Vista Linux and most consoles. Yeah, you know your marketing or your tech is a little bit old when it still says um, Vista, but uh, yeah, USB compatible, backlit keycaps. I mean, even the I don't know if you can see it, but even the the font is just fuzzy. All right, so let's uh, crack her open and take a look. I don't, not caring too much about the box, but you know, I'm still gonna take my time and be gentle with it. That's a keyboard. <laughs> Ooh, wrapped in bubble wrap. All right. Package that just smells weird. It just smells like, like just cheap packaging. Okay. So, um, here it is. Oh, it's got the work. I hate. This layout, I don't know why they do this. All right, so we have, uh, oh, it's a keyboard. Oh God, those are, those are mushy. And we have a button here that says LED on off. And it looks like from the box, they have it mapped to scroll lock. God, that's gonna be annoying. But uh, yeah, but yeah, standard uh, QWERTY layout, layout, which is good. I'm glad it's not uh, the quartz layout. Uh, escape, we got Windows key. Oh, we got some really cool, uh, arrow keys. Check those bad boys out. Game Pro logo right in the center. I think this is called the ISO layout. And that USB cable, oh my god. That is like flimsy. And yeah, I know the redundancy of me buying uh, these things for five bucks a piece. So I spent maybe 20 bucks total for this video. So, oh my god, look how just, look how thin and flimsy that is. Like, Okay, here's here. I have a micro screwdriver here uh, that I was using for something else, and the shaft on that is just barely smaller. Like I'm actually a little dubious about this, but um, yeah, let's uh plug it on my computer and see what happens. Let's look at the RGB goodness. Oh, oh lit up! Wow, yeah, that's that's RGB. They weren't kidding. RGB. You can't even change it. Oh my god. It's just literally like a, a backlit like membrane. Yeah, it's just a backlit membrane. That is just... That's awesome. And it's painted. Take a look at that. You can kind of see the fuzziness from it being oversprayed. They just painted it with something. Oh my god. And by the way, also, it looks like there's just, just stickers. Okay. How's it feel to type on though? I mean, it's mushy, but it's not bad. Like it's it's really not. 
I, mean, I guess it, it, it's, it's fine. I mean, uh, what about the... Okay, so no more lights up, caps lock. They did. The scroll lock lights up. Oh, that is so, that's so stupid. But we have a bunch of keys that are macro to FN, which is like every other keyboard in the world. But yeah, it's just, it's a keyboard. Oh, no, I didn't break it. Okay. That is flimsy. And you can see the bleed through on the very edge. Okay. It's a, it's a cheap keyboard. It's a keyboard. Uh, I might... I might actually use it for my uh, capture PC down here just to have a, a gamer keyboard when I'm using it. And uh, by the way, I'm really apologizing for this camera view. It's some light in here is really washing me out. I don't know why. I do not like um, the way this camera's handling it. All right, so let's uh, take a look at the rest of the stuff. Next up, we have an LED microphone. Yeah, uh, plus five, multi-color mode used for connectivity, universally compatible. By the way, I just found out this thing has it's compatible with Windows 11, so it didn't market it very well. It says USB compatibility, so like, I wonder, is it like a USB microphone? Because um, if it is, that will actually be pretty impressive. And the reason for that is because most cheap uh, microphones are aux based. Most of the high dollar ones, or not high dollar, but low to mid range are uh, USB. God, the, even the bubble wrap on this one smells kind of weird. Okay. Okay, yep. Look at that. Microphone on off. I don't know if that's for the light or for the mic itself. Um, okay. And I was absolutely right. Aux cable for the, uh, <laughs> the audio mic and USB for LED. I bet if I plug it in, it's going to just light up the LED. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> yep, that's a uh, that's RGB all right. Oh yeah, look at that. I swear if that doesn't trip somebody's here, let me, let me turn the light off so you guys can see this. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> It's just out of sync and it's awesome. For, for a second, for second, I thought it was like voice responded, but nope. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, get a separate recording of comparing this to the shotgun or to the uh, phone audio. I just saw that I don't have my shotgun mic plugged into my phone. Uh, that audio is gonna be awful. Crap. Okay, so I apologize for the audio difference. Um, I just saw that my uh, shotgun mic was not plugged into my phone. Uh, in fact, I just noticed it when I was uh, talking about recording audio from this to compare it to that. So, um, yeah, you'll be able to at least get a, uh, well, an audio difference from my phone to the shotgun mic to this thing. So I'll do that after, while I'm doing uh, the post-editing stuff. So this is a test of the phone microphone only. This is a test of the shotgun microphone. And this is a test of the GamePro microphone. Next thing, an LED gamer mouse pad with non-slip backing. It's like that's a feature. Seven colors, red, light blue, pink, yellow, purple, blue, and green. Uh, 13 by 10. That's actually not a big mouse pad. But I guess it doesn't say like desk pad, so um, it's large. If that's their large size, what is their small? Oh God, okay. That's just, uh, let's see, we have, we have seven color modes, USB connection, on off switch, anti-slip grip and low friction. I'm running out of ports on my uh, laptop here. I only have uh, two more. Okay. Simple packaging. It kind of smells a little, kind of smells a little off, like a cheap mouse pad, but um, all right. Well, it's a mouse pad with a micro USB connector. What year is it again? I mean, I, I did say this stuff seemed like it was old overstock stuff, so plug in the micro USB, which does not plug all the way in, which is annoying. Yeah, uh, there's a wee bit of a gap there, there, bud. Email pad. Oh, and look at that. And it just cycles. Oh, no, it doesn't. I can, oh, you can actually control it slow. Kind of changes color there. 
It looks like that's uh, steady on. Okay, that's not too bad. It's a little, a little wrinkled, but not too bad. Do I have a mouse I can try with it? Or... I mean, okay. It's not bad. Like, I wouldn't say it's a little friction, but it definitely is non-slip. Okay, obviously with this, though, it's going to be a problem with it, you know, being raised like that from being folded. So, I don't know, a little left out for a while. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll flatten out. I do like the effect, though. Like, it definitely, like, it's, I think it's stitched together, just a cheap rubber backing of some kind, with just a cheap mouse pad topping. Like, basically, it feels like those cheap mouse pads. If anyone remembers this, um... Back when like uh, the, the optical laser mice were like pushing out the rollerball mice um, from like store shelves and you didn't need your mouse pad anymore because you didn't need it for your optical mice. And there was just bins and bins at like Kmart and Walmart and all those other stores that sold PC stuff. Just had all the old PC peripherals that weren't being sold anymore and mouse pads were one of them and you picked up those cheap like five, ten dollar mouse pads. Uh, yeah, that's what this feels like. But um, honestly, you know what? I'll say that's not bad. Like, uh, that's something that could be usable. Like, maybe it's something I'll throw in my, uh, well, you know, maybe it's something I'll throw in my laptop bag with my laptop here. Because uh, even though I have an optical my mouse, it, it, does, it does work a little bit better to use a mouse pad. All right, so cool. And for the final thing, I'm actually, I'm a little curious about this. We have an LED headphone stand. Headphones not included, you think. Uh, it's got the exact same base as the microphone and it doesn't have a lot of weight. In fact, it's it's light. Holds most headphones, multicolor mode, 10 inches tall, RGB lights, which means it's gonna be the same erratic, sporadic thing as the microphone. Yeah, it only has red, green, and blue. So yeah. All right. All right, so we have the base unit here, which is super light and flimsy. Oh, I don't have high hopes for this. And it looks like just, Kind of stiff-ish, I'm not gonna... Like plastic chopsticky, you know. <laughs> uh, Stan, there's no assembly instructions, but if you really need them for this, I have questions. Yeah, that's a headphone stand. And what better to pair with a cheap headphone stand than a cheap set of headphones that I've had for years. Um, it was one of those like gamer sets that had a keyboard, mouse, and headphones, and these are like the only things that still work. Actually, you know what? That's not bad. It's it's holding it. Like it'll Okay. Let's uh hook up the RGB. Whoa, look at that! It's gamer! Can't turn it off. There's no on-off switch. It lied. It, there was an on-off switch. Where's that? Wait, do, doesn't the box say on-off switch? It doesn't. It's just almost, it's all the way on all the time. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, let's get this stuff set up as if, it's, as if it's my gamer setup. What do you guys think? Am I a pro gamer now? I mean, I got an RGB keyboard. I got the RGB mouse pad. I got the RGB microphone. I got the RGB uh, headphone stand. I'm, I'm pro gamer now. <laughs> okay, so real talk here for a second. Um, let's, let's review all of this stuff here. Um, the headphone stand is actually not bad. It would support a set of headphones. Now, these are not very heavy headphones. These are actually pretty cheap, lightweight headphones, but it does hold them. So I guess technically it, it they work. So, eh, okay. I guess, you know, for five bucks for an RGB, just headphone stand just to put on your desk as a just for now kind of thing to kind of keep them from getting all sorts of messed up. I mean, it's not, not bad. For five bucks, you couldn't really beat that. I mean, besides just hacking something on the counter of your desk here. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's got RGB chaos, like I said, and you know, for, for a headphone stand, it, it's fine. Um, it's a little unstable doing that though. You can't turn the RGB off, which is annoying, but I, you know, just put it sitting on the desk. For the microphone, um, I really would not, I mean, $5 for an aux microphone, you can get, you can get free ones. Like, or you can get, you can get super cheap microphones. Um, it's weird that I've seen this for five bucks, but then again, it's just a microphone. 
Like seriously, people throw away the microphones that used to come with computers all the time. The ones like the old boom ones that used to come with old beige PCs. You can probably find those free from some old lady throwing their stuff out. But uh, they don't have RGB. That's chaotic, just like the headphone stand. Um, I can't say much for the audio yet. Uh, I am going to record some audio segments with it. When I do the uh, post editing, I'm going to compare this to the phone audio because I screwed up and didn't plug my shotgun mic in and my cheap shotgun mic. So um, I'm also probably going to maybe I might record on another microphone I have just to see what happens. But as for that, I mean, if you need a microphone, you know, for audio, I guess maybe for just for like a discord thing, I guess it's a cheap microphone. Or if you just need a microphone because the built-in microphone on the laptop or whatever might not be the best. So, I mean, yeah. Maybe for five bucks. I mean, again, you, you couldn't really top that. And again, same thing with the micro headphones in five bucks just for something that's going to hold your headphones. You don't even have to plug it in and get uh, OCD triggered from the RGB. The mouse pad's a little bit of a different story. I mean, for five bucks, I mean, mouse, mice, you know, mouse pads aren't, you know, expensive anymore. But for an RGB one, this actually wouldn't be too terrible. I do want to see after I leave it sit for a while, maybe put it out in the sun, maybe see if it'll like just self flatten out and work better. But um, yeah, just as something to use as a mouse pad. I'm probably am gonna use this, um, maybe with my laptop here when I'm editing my videos, because uh, there's times I don't want to plug my, I don't want to power my big, big desktop on, and on my L-shaped desk I got a clean spot here, uh, laptop and a mouse pad. That way I have better control with my mouse because I use it for editing shorts and um, other other things. I, I guess it's a mouse pad. It's for five bucks. I mean, yeah, can you find them cheaper? Probably yeah. Again, some old lady throwing away their computer stuff, and you get free mouse pads or you go to tool shows or trade shows. Like I got like five of them like last year at a trade at a tool show. But yeah, not a, not a, not a terrible mouse pad. It's, it's RGB, it lives up. It's not obnoxious RGB. Like it's actually very subtle. I do like it and I do enjoy it. I think it's kind of a weird thing that doesn't have USB-C, it's USB micro, which I mean, you're not gonna be unplugging and plugging it all the time, so it's not gonna wear out. But at the same time, come on, it's a 2024 or whenever these things were made, I guess. Final thing though, is the keyboard, which uh, the key I took off, it's somehow broken. I mean, I don't hear any rattling plastic, so I don't know exactly what broke. And I don't want to take another key off to see what it is. But um, yeah, I would not recommend this at all. I mean, unless you really desperately needed a keyboard, like a full-size keyboard for whatever reason, you can go to like, there are businesses throwing out computers and Dell gives away keyboards when you buy towers anyway. I mean, you can go to Goodwill and probably find a keyboard for a couple bucks. Um, but they're not RGB, but I would not, I don't know if I could recommend this. I mean, especially with the fact that they've, they put the LED on and off mapped to scroll lock. I mean, that's kind of annoying. So that would mean that if you want your RGB on, you can't scroll with your arrows. If you want to scroll, you have to turn off your RGB. That's not a good thing. Uh, it's just super flimsy, super cheap. Um, I will admit that yes, the idea that you can get a keyboard nowadays of any kind for five bucks is actually okay. That's not bad because keyboards used to be pretty price, pricey. But a membrane style keyboard that has RGB, that has a super thin wire that has current going through it, that wire is way too thin for any form of current to go through it. I'm sorry. I foresee that possibly having problems, easily kinking, easily breaking, easily possibly breaking a wire internally and shorting out. I don't know if I could recommend the keyboard. Like, I mean, I know it's a Dollar Tree freaking product, so. How could anyone even recommend it? But I guess if you desperately need a keyboard, like you, you're at work, you know, got mad at a financial portfolio and broke your keyboard and, oh, how am I gonna finish this, you know, writing assignment, you know, you know, oh, I'll go to Dollar Tree and I'll pick up a $5 keyboard and hope it doesn't break during me using it. I guess fine, it's five bucks, but you, you could find better keyboards for just a couple bucks more. I mean, you can go on to Amazon Basics. I think those keyboards are what, 15 bucks? Um, you can go to businesses that are um, upgrading all their systems and stuff, and they might be throwing away keyboards. Yeah, using a keyboard, a used keyboard is but gross at times, at the best of times, let's be honest, because we've all torn apart keyboards. So yeah, uh, the keyboards, uh, a keyboard, keyboard's more of an emergency necessity. Like, I'm obviously gonna use it because I paid five bucks for it. I'm gonna probably plug it into my game, my capture PC to have it as a, as a, uh, a keyboard, but I'm probably not going to use it beyond that point, except for just a backdrop of what not to not to buy. Uh, the microphone again. I'm going to check it out here pretty soon. That one's in. I'll probably use mouse pad. I'm definitely going to use that because it's it's neat. Game Pro. Never heard of them. 
uh, I don't know the story behind them. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of research and do uh, like a, in the middle of post voiceover of the company, maybe, if I think about it. But yeah, with that being said, um, thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> uh, this was actually a little bit of fun. Uh, I was actually surprised by some of the things in here. I thought they were gonna be more chintzy and cheap than they were gonna be, but they actually turned out to be, a couple of them turned out not to be too bad. I am kind of bummed there wasn't a mouse, but considering how cheap the keyboard is, I could just imagine how cheap that mouse was gonna be. I mean, if it even worked, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, so if you have any thoughts about any of these cheap things like this, or if you know anything about the company GamePro, or if you even know why Dollar Tree specifically did this, um, put it down below in the comments because uh, I'd love to hear about it. If you want to see me review any other things like this, um, uh, as long as it's financially feasible, yeah, put it down in the comments. I'd love to review more stuff like this because um, I'm wanting to do more and more stuff that's just off the wall and fun like this. And that being said, again, thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I did. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.